Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy A Town Podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite the Explosive One. Jonas, uh, we are doing a podcast. <laughs> TNT D I N O M I G H T. We are absolutely doing a podcast. What's going on, Johnny? Oh, you know, dude, it's a it's a sunny Sunday morning. Sunny Sunday. In the Crazy dude. Town compound. We got Got the crazy town maid cooking breakfast for us. Dude, we could actually get a maid. They're not that bad. Yeah, dude, we probably could. Do you want to ever come one? over and have her or him? We'll say her or him. her or him come over and cook breakfast for us. Wake up in the morning. No, we're not getting another guy in this house. You, you don't know how to control yourself. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much for joining us today on the Crazy Town Podcast. Whether you're joining us on our YouTube channel, Crazy Town Media, subscribe there, or on you or on uh, Spotify, iTunes, all of those uh, podcast outlets where you just hear our sultry. Manly voices in your ears. The dulcet tones. <laughs> yes. Or you can follow this guy on Twitch. TNT Dynamite on Twitch every single day at 9, 10 a.m. Central. That's TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town. Boy. Yeah, I'm your boy. Yeah, yeah you're your boy. I am your boy. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, you got something for us today? Or you want me to uh, what I got here? I mean, yeah, sure. We can start with, with, with the thing I had. Nope. It, it'll lead right into you, into what you were saying. Uh, oh, I mean, that isn't even my thing, but I'll, I got all that on. Oh, okay. That. That's fine. Uh, well, first, Gone with the Wind, Jonas. Have it's, you ever seen that movie? No. Never? Not once. I mean, I, I'm aware of what it is. Frankly, Scarlett, I don't give a damn. Like, I know exactly what Language, it is. Language, Jonas. Language. Anyway, Gone with the Wind, a movie about a southern belle and her... Come, coming to terms with love and relationships in the in the South. <laughs> movie came out in 1939. Yeah. It was recently removed from HBO Max, which is a new streaming service that nobody understands. Oh, isn't it? Is that HBO? Wait, H doesn't HBO have Go to HBO Go? Dude. In look, <laughs> Anyways. I could have did a whole story about HBO Max, HBO Go, HBO Now, and how they're all switching over. Because there is no HBO Go unless you, when you get Max. Because now HBO Go is HBO... Anyway. Or right, anyways, it's stupid. <laughs> All right, but they HBO Max removed it, stating that some of the uh, some of the uh, the tone of the movie just doesn't really resonate with with this with this current century. Oh, you're trying to say a uh, movie made in the 30s was racist? Yeah, yes. Imagine that about a plantation owner <laughs> so, in the South. So the main reason that they that they removed it is because it depicts uh, the slaves that are being in, in that are in the home waiting on Scarlet and her love affair. Uh, they are depicted as you know having a good old time being slaves. Oh, is that what like yeah. like I'm like good morning? I'm so happy to be here. I'm like, so happy to be slave serving you against my will. So. <laughs> So naturally, we don't want we didn't want to depict that, or they didn't want to depict that. Funny enough, the movie shot to number one on Amazon. What is it? Amazon Prime. Yeah, Amazon Prime. Like the day after they made it unavailable. Well, yeah, because then there's like hot news about it. People are like, "Wait, what's this about? Let me go see how bad this is." Is, is it that? Yeah, yeah, maybe. I guess. Um, anytime they ban something. All people want to do is go see, watch why, it, see why, why it was banned. banned. Yeah. Fair oh, I enough. can't watch it because it's bad? Let me go see why it's bad. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. bad. And, and the thing is, is that nobody would have watched Gone with the Wind. <laughs> There's very few people that, I mean, like, no, my nobody. grandma probably likes that movie because she watched it as a kid. It's like me saying I like Biodome because I watched it when I was a child. Like, if I tried to watch it now, I'd be like, oh. It's like me trying to watch Soul Man. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. You know, I loved that movie when I was a kid. Now that I look back at it, I'm like, well, I was being conditioned. <laughs> I was being conditioned. Yeah, if you don't know what Snowman is, look that one up. Yeah, oh, God, yeah. Soul Man in the 80, an 80s movie. So, yeah. yeah, so Gone with the Wind is Gone with the Wind. Also, that is Gone with the Wind. What? For the Wind. Ooh, Jonas. Gone like, for the Wind? Gone with the Wind for the Wind. Yes. The Confederate flag taken out of NASCAR. Yeah, I mean, I think about how many years has it been since the Civil War ended? <laughs> Big old Bubba Wallace decided, to, which is, he's the only uh, black 
driver in the in the uh, in NASCAR. Right. He made a statement in the, in, in the NASCAR Federal Association. I don't know the NFL. They they said that <laughs> the <laughs> NFL, the NFL of NASCAR. Yeah. Yeah, they uh, they decided that it should be taken out, and they have banned it from all their future events. And Twitter was just ablaze with dudes with sunglasses on and f- freaking trucker hats sitting in their F one fifties. I can't believe NASCAR. <sighs> like, do they just like how the flag looks, or do they like really believe like like, or do they really like stand with the Confederacy? I, dude, I don't really understand what it is. I was having a conversation with somebody the other day about this. And I about was the like, Confederate flag? No, about a lot of the things that Americans hold as symbolism and that they hold more importantly over uh, actual Americans. Like, there's America and there's Americans. Okay. All right? All America right. is is a symbol for what we consider to be the highest, greatest society. I don't necessarily believe that we are the highest, greatest society, but that's what we hold it as a symbol of. And then you got the flag. People get very bent out of shape about the flag. Me, myself, dude, it's a flag, all right? What's truly important is treating our fellow citizens in a way that we consider to uphold our structure of what society is. Right. I told I told the individual I was like, if you were to lose your wedding ring, that doesn't delegitimize delegitimize your marriage at all. Right. Absolutely. Now, they may be upset because yeah. it costs a lot of money or it whatever. Yeah, because it it does have a special place. It is it is definitely a symbol for your marriage. But if you did not have a wedding ring, you're still married. Yeah, I know people who are married and don't wear wedding rings. Exactly. So. I don't know. It, uh, it It's just, it's amazing to me how people keep talking about how to affect its heritage. I'm like, man, the Confederacy lasted for four years. It, it's not, it's that, not that much heritage. It's not that much heritage. Right, right. It's, it's a time in the country where, like, people decided to rise up to stand for something different. And the country went to war yeah, over it. Yeah. And we defeated those people. It and lasted then they were four years, man. Come on. Uh, and, and like people are talking about, well, if they start suppressing history, suppressing history, another big, a big thing. I guess I'm getting into my political bag here. I didn't That's realize fine, dude. I I mean, really... I feel it's relevant. It's not like too political. It's yeah. like, it's, it's legitimate. It's about our country. I don't really feel like it's a political view. Yeah, you're not though. being like the dang Dem and Republic. Yeah. Like, yeah. like I'm trying to attack it from a logical standpoint. Yeah, I get it. Uh, yeah. I didn't even think that if you think about, uh, I believe it was the Romans that burned a bunch of libraries um, and a lot of the, some knowledge of the world was lost in the burning of these libraries. Right. Um, I think the Nazis did that too. Yeah. People look at those moments as tragic points in history, but at no point today do we talk about the statues that the Nazis or the, or the, uh, not, the, not the Germans, but the well, Germans probably too, but the, uh, Roman Romans, yeah, that they knocked over. At no point in time do we talk about the songs that were a part of these cultures that have been lost over the years because of another country coming over and put on putting their foot on their neck. And that is because these things are symbolic of those cultures, but the knowledge is is really the most important thing. The knowledge ain't going anywhere. You can still go to the library, you can get a book, and you can learn anything you want to about racism or slavery. Right, yeah, you can read on the internet for days about the Confederacy. Yes, but I don't think it is necessarily in our best interest to put on the forefront the ideals of the people who are obviously wrong. (laughs) Right. The people who obviously you lost, and to, like, glorify, like, Robert E. Lee and stuff, come on. Hey, get that shit out of here. They don't put they don't put Hitler statues up or Karl Marx or anything like right, that. Right, right. Stalin. I yeah. think they have Stalin statues somewhere. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. but yeah. even but still. No, I get, it's like, yeah, I, I get you. It's like um it's like everything changes with the times. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we it's like the same thing as like, you know, outside of sports stadium, they put they put a uh they put a statue of whoever. And then it comes out that that guy murders people. They're going to take the goddamn statue down. Like, it doesn't take away the fact they're a great sports player. Yep. 
but their legacy is turned. You know, the the purpose of it to honor something is not really valid anymore. Nobody complained when da 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 da. Hey, da 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 da. When that music got taken away from sports. Why did that get taken away from sports? Dude was a sexual deviant. Oh, man. really? Yeah, dude made the song was uh, a sexual deviant. Oh. See, it's like, yeah, and it's so, so I guess like what you're saying or not what you're saying is what I'm interpreting. It's like, if people feel that strongly about things like that going away, that just shows how deep that people still care about that or want, or people have the, like, want to follow that value or something. Because if no one cared and everyone thought it was bad, why would anyone care if it was taken away? Yeah. You know what I mean? Close, like close. I'm more or less saying is that people have their mindset on things that aren't important. You're yeah. talking about a symbol, you know, not necessarily the actual issue, not people's lives, not the way that we conduct society, but you're concerned about a grouping of notes. Yeah, you're concerned no, guess, about a piece of fabric. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I guess what I was trying to say is like, if people didn't still hold values that related to the confederacy close oh, to them yeah. then no one would give a shit that the statues were gone oh like yeah, if, people, but, if no one was racist everybody get them racist statues out of here well, yeah we'll see that that's never gonna happen well that's a whole nother that's a whole nother talk <laughs> well, hey, look but. check it man <laughs> get rid of the fucking racist flag you can be as racist as you want <laughs> go right ahead i don't care i'm not telling you how to act I'm just telling you is that you're putting your emphasis on the wrong thing. Right. I Look, think, don't put your emphasis on the flag. Go do something racist and see where that gets you. All right. Instead of just thinking you can rock the flag and be a closet racist. No, I'm not racist. Just hear the yeah, fuck just, out I of here. I love the flag, dude. It looks nice. And you're like, bro. Nah, go out there and do a hate crime. See where that gets you. Because we canceling motherfuckers. Now so it's day. like, a, so, so it's like the flag is like a way that people can like. Yo. Be rate show their racist without doing racist shit. To I, have the shit I 100% come back on them. think so because you're you're like just turn a blind eye to it. On the same note, American flag, don't be so concerned about the American flag. People, if like if people see you burning an American flag, they're liable to beat your ass like you just hit on their daughter. Get the fuck out of here. Go do something American <laughs> instead of concerning yourself about what the fuck that piece of fabric is. Prove, you, prove you're a real American through your actions. Prove you're a real Confederate lover through your actions if that's what you want to do. Right, but, but, don't, but don't honor a piece of flag and not yeah, that, that shit ain't important. Yeah. What's really I important is what's right here in your chest, you dig? Right, right. But, uh, but, you know, I feel like that there was that NASCAR driver who was like, I'm going to quit my million-dollar job. <laughs> Because we can't have a Confederate flag in the yeah. stadium. If he might as well got on a goddamn microphone and screamed, right. I am racist as fuck. Right. <laughs> like, and that's the thing, man. He, he might lose some endorsements with that shit. He, he quit his job. Oh, well, well, bye. See? Right. But, like, right. I don't know what well, that what's proves. He gonna do? What, right. What's he going to do? He's like, they're like, aren't you the guy who quit because of the Confederate flag? Yeah, that was me. They're like, yeah, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're not even going to put you on fries today. Right, exactly. <laughs> can't you, do you can be in stocking in the freezer, dog. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put you on fries, and this is Lamar. He's your he's your manager. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't. Yeah, it's it's a. Uh, huh. It is uh, quite. It is quite messed up. So what what would be something American Americans can do if they're upset about the way America is being treated by somebody? If they're upset about the way... Well, you way. said, like, if you you see someone burning the American flag, go do something American. Yeah, yeah well, I'm not even saying... I'm saying is that the flag isn't the most important thing that makes America, America. Because, like, this is my, uh, my stoic side coming out again. But, like, all of these fucking physical belongings mean nothing. Right, right. They are, they are temporary. Right, absolutely. When you die, the American flag ain't gonna matter. Right. If you buy an American flag now in fifty yeah. years, it's gonna be it's gonna be beat up. It's gonna be like it's, yeah. it's gonna not be as nice as nobody's it is today. nobody's gonna be like, you know, that dude always had an American flag and like that's a good memory. But if you're doing things that are American, with whatever that means to you, I, I suppose. Right, right. Just supporting the like values and beliefs of like freedom and and you know all those there you things. go that deal. there yeah, you I go guess. get involved with with uh with your local government go to community meetings uh vote you know shit like that right right 
I don't know. Whatever whatever it means whatever to you. Whatever America but, means to you. But yeah, I don't know. Just the the people who just hold it like they take it so personal when the, the flag is brought up or when it, when somebody wants to get rid of something that's offensive to somebody else. I just don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I like I don't know. Yeah, I guess I guess I I'm I'm right with you on that and like I, especially in the general thing of like everybody's so caught up on like belongings and stuff like mm-hmm. Like we were talking about this the other, like just the other day, talking about making making a million dollars, and like I was like, I was like, I wouldn't even want to buy a new car. I got a car; it's paid off. I got like a ten, five years left on my warranty. Like if I even if I had a million dollars, why would I go buy a fancy ass car? I was like, I got a car. <laughs> like yeah. the car don't matter to me. I I care about the financial security of not having to worry about working to be able to do things. I don't care about what I can buy with that money. Yeah, there, there's a bigger picture to it, for sure. Yeah. How do you feel about them taking on with the wind? How would you feel if they took away some of the Looney Tunes we used to watch that has some dictations? Uh, Whatever. Depictions. You don't care? You say dick pics. <laughs> I said dictations. <laughs> dictations. Depictions. Um, <clears throat> no, nah, would, why would I care? I don't know. Like, I, yeah, I loved Looney Tunes as a kid, but it was what was on when I was a child. Oh, you don't yeah. know any better. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Like you don't like you think about like those some of those things were very sexist. Were very yeah, like yeah. yeah, dude, it's sexist, racist, man. It was it was definitely a different time. I mean, yeah, they talk about that what's that one movie? Song of the South? Yes. That that like that that movie was such a popular movie back in the day. Go back to it now. It is not it oh, is man. not a, a movie that dude, the slaves were having a good old time in Song of the South. It was amazing. Uh <laughs> My thing is like, it's like this. If a person says they're going to change for the better, they put away the things that made them a worse person. You, you avoid those things. Yeah, right, right. You know, if, if, you, if it is found out or if you find out that in yourself there is some deviancy or whatever it is, whether it be like addiction to narcotic, whether it be uh, sexual or verbal abuse towards your fellow man, and you decide to make yourself a better person, ancillary to a better country, then you get rid of those things. You acknowledge the fact that they existed. And if somebody were to ask you about them, maybe you would discuss them, at least in a conversation to try to help somebody else be better. But to wear those things on your sleeve, like I <laughs> right, I, right. I used to hate black people on your shirt. It's just like, why? What does that prove? That doesn't, right. that doesn't show anybody that you're better. That just shows that. Right, right, right. Well, yeah, it'd be like it, it'd be like, um, yeah. No one's saying that our country should say, "Hey, we didn't have a confederacy." It's yeah. just, just like we've moved on past that. Yeah, we are a better country now. Right, right. So, as a better country, we need to act better. Right, and it'd be like, yeah, like if you were an alcoholic and decided, "I want to be a better person by not drinking anymore." Yeah, no, I'm going to walk around with a six pack everywhere right. I go. <laughs> Right. Like if someone if someone says something about alcohol, like you would never say like, oh, I you wouldn't deny that, like whatever. But you but you're like, no, I don't I don't partake in that anymore. I've decided not to partake in alcohol anymore. Exactly. Like, you know, it's not like you would just be like, yeah. oh, we're, we're better, man. We grew up. We grew up. It's amazing because when I think about it, like I thought the country was pretty adult when I was a kid, man. No, we're still growing. Oh yeah, we're dude. still young, man. I we're mean, still we're grown. yeah. It's, it's, and it's funny to think of that <laughs> our country is what over two hundred years old. That's young, pushing on three hundred years old. That is young, and we're and we're still young. We're still young. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. It's all crazy. right, but that that that's pretty much all I want to talk about. Good good luck, good all luck right. to Bubba Wallace, man. I don't know how good he is at NASCAR, um, but I mean, I think they had an NASCAR race yesterday. I'm actually America's open. Oh, dude, I'm actually I'm more inclined to watch NASCAR. With that, is it like I don't know if it was a shameless pandering, but as many of their fans as they pissed off, I'm cool with it. If anything, I want to watch like the pregame of NASCAR just to see how many people try to sneak a Confederate flag in and get kicked guy, out. Guy like where have a bandana stuck in his pocket and he's in yeah. the crowd just like fist pumping <laughs> with it on his head. Like, sir, you got to leave. Oh, dude, I would love it. Anyway, all right. Well, I'll, uh, I'll touch on a quick story. We we don't have a ton of time left. <clears throat> So, um, have you ever taken some airplane flights? Have I ever taken some airplane flights? I've never been asked quite like that. <laughs> have you ever but yes, I have plane? ever taken this. I have ever taken some airplane flights. <laughs> <laughs> you caught me. 
I know, dude. I like to catch you slipping. Oh, yeah. You, yeah, you, yeah, I'm slipping. You totally caught me slipping. I'm the one slipping. So, there was a woman between 2015 and 2019. She booked over a thousand airline flights. That's a lot of miles. That's like... So, if you think about it, there's only like 1,200 days. 13, 1,400 days in four years. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah, like good. 1,400 days in four... So, that's like... It's like Almost one a day, one every day and a half. Where was she going? She had no intention of taking any of those flights. She would just book them? She would, she figured out a way to work the system where, and she would analyze weather patterns and then book flights and buy the flight delay insurance to then get money back because the flights got canceled or delayed due to weather. What? She ended up, she would use, and so she wouldn't get caught, which obviously she now got caught. Um, <laughs> she would use her name, her friends' names, her family's names. She made 3 million uh, won, which is the Chinese currency, Y-U-A-N, I may be pronouncing that wrong. Yeah. But that's uh, equivalent to about 423,000 U.S. dollars. Damn. And now she's probably going to be put into a concentration camp in China. Wow. Well... <laughs> Who knows, man? That's a possibility. That's yeah. no, that's pretty. That's pretty smart. And is it illegal? Oh yeah, it, it? yeah. Cause, well, I think what got her though is what really got her was using other people's names. Oh yeah, because okay. they've changed. They said they changed the um, the 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 verbiage of it, where mm. like you can only get the money for flights booked in your own name or something like that. Yeah. So it's like I think I think if she was doing it for herself. But maybe on that mass, it's still considered fraud. Like, working any loophole to gain money is pretty much fraud. Yeah. Um, it's, like, it's one thing if you're like, I'm going to fly to Florida, and Florida has a hurricane, and the flight gets canceled, and you get your money back. Yeah. It's another if you're like, I'm going to book a flight to Florida because there's giant storms coming. Yeah, I'm going to book I, a flight to Florida because there's giant storms coming. I get it. It's, it's definitely taking advantage of the system. But, I mean, it's a system they put in place. I'm right. not mad at it, man. I think it's a genius idea, yeah, man. She yeah. was a talented meteorologist, and, you know, yeah, she used her like, skills. It's like, I was like, that's a lot of work. Analyzing weather patterns and stuff. I need a way to learn to use my set of skills to get money illegally. Stocks. Well, you can do it legally. <laughs> what? <laughs> it said stocks are legal. You don't even do it illegally. Yeah, but how do I get it illegally? Because illegal money is like, it's way, there's way more illegal money. It's way better? Money. No, is it it's better because you got it through illegal means? No, but there's more of it, and it's easier to get. Like, <laughs> like I could go to work, and I could work for eight hours, and I could come home with $200. Or I could just go stick somebody up. And there you go. I got $200. I guess, I guess, yeah, or you could just buy, like, a bunch of weed and sell it. Whoa. Jonas. And then you would get a bunch of <laughs> I'm not advocating wait, that. Wait, you just said I could hold someone up, and I go, you could sell weed. And you're like, whoa, dude, whoa. Whoa, okay? Don't, d Whoa. I'm going to arm robbery someone. That's cool. <laughs> well, no, Sell a marijuana? No. no. gets hurt, Jonas, but you're killing brain cells. <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. Killing all them cells in your head, dude. No, that's a pretty good story. Uh <laughs> no, but I thought that was cool. I was like, they're just like, man, it's the, it's the ways people go. If people put that much intention into learning something to benefit their life, like if that lady would have put all that energy into like learning a skill, like... Yo, she made four hundred thousand dollars. She learned a skill. <laughs> That's a skill. That was like when people used to play Guitar Hero all the time, and the, and people would have the argument of like, you have spent five hundred hours playing Guitar Hero. If you would have spent five hundred hours playing a real guitar, you would yeah. be a good guitar player by now. Yeah, yeah. like it's it's just the thing. Very true. It's the things people put there. That's true. <laughs> it's like you're playing all. You spent all this time to play five buttons when you could actually be playing the songs in real life out <laughs> doing whatever you want damn jonas that hits close to home you know <laughs> right <laughs> i definitely put a lot of hours in the guitar here oh me too it. yeah dude i did back in the day too i still like i was trash at the game i didn't even play on hard played on medium dude i was a four button boy oh no, i definitely had the orange in, in, oh, nah, in dude, the I didn't, I didn't even want that dude it was too much for me i didn't even oh, want to play orange it. in the tuck yeah, dude, I didn't like it. <laughs> Whatever, dude. But that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, uh, make sure that you follow this guy on Twitch. Uh, TNT Dynamite I'm on Twitch every single day, 9, 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town. Come and hang out with your boy lives. All right, but uh, we'll catch you on the next one for Jonas. TNT. We are Uta.